How you doing people? It's M0YKS back with you. And uh, just before we start, I want to say a shout out to my main man Pat, W0 Oscar Kilo Echo, the Wookie, over there at uh, HRO Portland and all the boys. Got my new Yesu heart, thanks Pat. And I've also got this fantastic book, the FTDX101 uh, Radio to Dave Guide. So I'm really pleased with that one. Thanks Pat, appreciate it my, my bro. Uh, today I'm going to be um, using this new radio which I just picked up. It's the RT3S from uh, Retavis, and I've programmed it up with the GD77 uh, software, which uh, has been recommended by G0 NIG Nigel. He told me to uh, get on board. And the main reason why I picked the radio up is because uh, it does actually work on satellite bands. So um, I've got it on the um, DMR repeater network at the moment, and I've got it up and running on that, working very nice indeed. I had a couple of contacts already. But uh, I'm just going to demonstrate it on reception-wise, uh, on the satellite bands it's really cool it's got uh, some pretty good functions on there i know there's been quite a few videos already made uh, on these particular radios but i'm just um getting getting into it it's brand new i've had it for a couple of days and uh, i've already received a few satellite passes so i've updated the keplers using the open gd77 software and the cable and we're all up to date i'm going to see if we can get the iss and see how it comes in so thanks for watching the video in advance M0YKS on the holiday vibes, just playing around in the shack. Well, actually, I'm in the music room at the moment. We've got the vinyl going on for the turntables, but we're going to head outside. So what I'm liking about it is tracking the frequencies automatically. So yeah, I'm just using the RT3S. I've got my uh, main antenna tracking it for real on the stations inside receiving. But right now we're just trying a thing on this uh, DMR radio with the built-in satellite software. Seems to be working really well. Keeping up with the frequencies. And this is the International Space Station. So yeah, looking good. And that's where the uh, position is. 26 elevation, position 105. So the uh, RT 3S receiving quite well. So yeah, that was pretty cool. I'm well impressed with that. I can't wait to plug that into the arrow antenna, undo, undo the rubber duck, put the connections on, and I'm going to use it for receiving. What I like about it is it gives you the exact position, the azimuth, the elevation, so you know where you're going to be pointing the arrow antenna. So that will be pretty cool. That saves me carrying around the uh, phone or the laptop. Thanks for watching this one. Look forward to catching you on a few more as we experiment with some more messes around, mainly on the satellite bands. I'm going to get the hotspot up and running for this, so I'll give you some information how you can contact me using DMR once I do that. That's going to be in the next few days. But for now, it's pure satellite fun with this baby, and I'm looking forward to a minute of it. See you soon on the next video. Thanks for watching.